100% believe I will find my soulmate through astrology. I'm ready to trust the stars. What if you didn't need to go to the ends of the earth to find love? I am the Astro Chamber. I will guide four singles to find their perfect match using their astrological birth charts. 16 people about to walk through here. One of those could be your soulmate. Cheers to finding love in the stars. <laughs> Astrology offers rare insight into our personalities. It's time for your first astrological match. <laughs> that I'm was a, sold. Yeah, me too. That was a sneak peek of the all-new Prime series, Cosmic Love. It's a one-of-a-kind social experiment where people attempt to find their perfect match using astrology. Yeah, I've never heard of a reality show doing this before. So they mingle, they match, date, eliminate, and eventually they make the biggest decision of their lives. Again, all based on astrology. Will they marry? Will their match work based solely on their astrology? Joining us to talk all about it is the matchmakers, Astro Twins, Tali and Ophira Adut. I hope I got your last name right, guys. You got it. Excellent. Got it. All right, <laughs> good so. Good afternoon. A good afternoon to you. I went on and I got my horoscope for today. It says, ease into your day, Aries, with lovebirds, Venus and Mars forming a sweet sextile in your most emo and sentimental sectors, you won't be in a rush to fryer up your workday. I had to look up the word sextile, and I found out it's one sixth of a circle. <laughs> yeah, get your mind out of the gutter. Right? Yes, it is. So yeah, that's... astrology's nerdy. It's got a lot of math in it. No, yep. that's really cool. So, so tell us, uh, tell us all about the show and how does it work? The yeah. show is a matchmaking astrology show. There's imagine a bachelor with four bachelors, two bachelorettes, two bachelors. Um, we have a fire sign, an earth sign, an air sign, and a water sign that represents the whole zodiac essentially. They come into a house to find love, and they have each have four matches among the other 16 people there, but they don't necessarily know who they are, and we reveal it bit by bit. So you're right, nobody has done this show before. It's the first time that astrology has been brought into one of these dating show formats. It adds this really magical element that I, you probably picked up on. It's a whole fun kind of surprise. Well, I got to put you on the spot because some people are probably watching this and saying, okay, even if they're into astrology, they might say, can I really base my entire romantic decision here on astrology? But it sounds like you ladies say it really works. It does. I mean, don't base your entire decision. It's more like a, having, a, having a helpful guide. It's like, it's like having your own little cosmic Yoda along sitting on your shoulder because you may be like, well, I should really go for that person because I'm normally attracted to that. And, you know, astrologies, well, hey, you know what? You actually are wired this way, remember? So maybe give that person a chance. So never base anything entirely on anything else. Astrology is a good couples therapist too, yeah. by the way, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so some good communication guidance. We know yep. you both went to the University of Michigan. Tally, you majored in photography. Ophira, you majored in computer graphics. So how did you get into astrology? Mm -hmm. You know, while we were there, uh, my college boyfriend did my astrology chart as a present. We were like 21, and it was this 30 page document that knew way more about me than anyone should. So I was like, I don't, I feel so see, too seen. <laughs> I gotta figure out how this works. So we figured out how to do charts and started doing them for all of our friends and found that accuracy there. And it just became like, hey, why not use this tool if it can be the shortcut? to not making your usual stupid human mistakes and tricks, right? All right, I gotta ask for a favor. All right, so I'm an Aries, which Me is too. fire signs. That's why we're such fiery personalities. You're we're both, both Aries? Both That's Aries? right, that's oh, right. We're both fire signs. Unpredictable show. Yeah. And my wife is a Taurus, which I know I've heard they can be a little stubborn. I'm not saying she is, but that's word on the street. So what would your love advice be for a couple <laughs> where you got an Aries and you got a Taurus? You know, that couple happens a lot. That's Kirsten mm. Dunst, she's a Taurus, and Jesse Plemons and Aries. So, you know, you're David one- David Beckham and Yeah, Victoria. and Victoria Bonham, that's right. So it's one sign apart, but both are very headstrong. And I think that's why you like each other. Yeah. So mm. Aries are the fire sign. They're a little untamable. The Taurus holds down the fort, though. The Taurus makes sure the Aries eats, sleeps, <laughs> uh, puts their socks away. But keeps Aries calm. keeps the Taurus from getting boring. So, you know, it's it's a really nice match, though. You're very active and energetic in the same way. Both like to eat. Too. Oh, there you go. See, that's, uh, I've had, we're in good hands. We're in good hands. Yeah. Oh, so we know the show is going to yeah. empower astrology lovers how to create lives of passion 
and purpose using the stars as a guide, which is so awesome. And we're excited to see this show. So it's going to be really good. It's so exciting to watch. And you can learn about yourself while you're doing it, too, because there's so much there's so much about all 12 signs. So bring a notebook and get ready to like jot some things down for yourself. I got to be honest with you, Roger. I was at a bar over the weekend. A guy came up to me and said, what's your sign? And I said, stop. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta open your heart. Joke. I gotta open my heart, ladies. <laughs> yeah, that's right. At least you, can we get it to a yield or something. You know, I don't know something crossing. How about U turn? Oh, what sign yeah, should you turn? Oh, I love okay. that. That's perfect. Ooh. Well, thank you, ladies. Oh, we appreciate your time. We hope the show is a great success. Thank you okay. so much. August twelfth, right. Prime Video. And we're going to fix Scott Haney up. Remember, all 10 episodes of Cosmic Love will premiere Friday, August 12th on Prime Video. Oh, you can binge the whole thing. That's, That's awesome. Right. Cosmic Love. I know Debbie Wright's over there going, I wonder if Brian's...